what is up everybody King Kawada here hope you guys are having an amazing day today now I'm very I'm a little confused but I'm um, more surprised and happy than anything the winter ski set is available now hit the slopes check out the winter ski set that I'm shop now we also have the agent activated TN Tina has been activated navigate to her room for more intel we're gonna go watch that real quick um we have a couple things today but we are going to check out TN Tina's uh, thing real quick. There's a little introduction. She's like an explosive maniac, I guess is a word. Wow. Uh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, okay, so we have a ghost in the shadow. I hear a mixtape coming soon. Okay, anyways. So we have our ghost version of her, which is uh, the quote unquote the good. Let me check this out real quick. Now you can get it by reaching battle pass level 40, of course buying the battle pass and completing 18 of TNT those challenges. Or you can unlock the shadow variation and do the same thing. It just depends on what side you want to go on. She also gets different tattoos. I think that is pretty interesting to know. And she's gonna stand a different way depending on which way you go for. Both very cool. Um, her room's cool. You notice there's like a completely different looking um, sci fi. Yeah, I guess you could say it's a sci fi gun on the top of her little workbench right there. And then right next to it, the Moisty Merman. Interesting. Her room's basically just a nuclear stockpile. <laughs> and of course, we have Brutus's. And then we'll get these eventually. Uh, we have a Deadpool thingy. I believe something new came up in his little uh, briefing on his computer. So we're gonna check that. What we got here? Hmm, nothing. It was glowing a second ago, so. <sighs> so I assumed something was new, but I guess not. Anyways, um, now this is this is one of the my most favorite combinations for skins ever, ever in all my times of playing it. Of course, my my favorite skin of all time, Fire Steam Leader. But the Alpine accessories for Great Britain. I'm actually not British. I don't have any association with Britain at all. I thought the colors looked cool, right? That might have been the most smart decision I've ever based anything off of. This blue. Red and the white match perfectly with this. I remember this Alpine Ace costume was the first cosmetic item I've ever bought in this game. Ever. And that's crazy to think about. Um, I mean, of course, this even came out before back blings were a thing. Before a lot of things were a thing. But especially back blings. And I used to wear this all the time. I don't know why, but I always thought it just looked so cool. The colors are the main thing that blue on the scarf is a beautiful color and then of course this skin came out and they released back blings like around the same time perfect look at this combination you can't tell me there's a better combination in this game so i started wearing it this came along i was like you know what this looks cool it's a, a scythe who doesn't like a scythe very cool threw it on i also used to use a slurp hammer a lot um i actually use a slurp, slurp hammer which was the second cosmetic item i've ever bought I'd always use it whenever I wore my Great Britain Alpine Ace. That's just a fun fact for the day. And of course, I gotta bring the candy canes because they match perfectly with the Fireworks Team Leader. But yes, all variations come. We got the Alpine Ace and we got the Mogul Master. Oh, wait, I get. Oh, yeah, never mind. There they are. Okay, so we have the ones for the USA, the ones for Canada, the ones for France, the ones for Germany, the ones for China, Korea, and Great Britain. We also have the ones for the girl, which are the Mughal Master, USA, Canada, Great Britain, France, Germany, China, Korea, and of course the normal one. Now, if I were to have to suggest any of them, first of all, um, I would say if you're just getting it for a back bling, which is a very smart investment, I would go for whatever character design you'd benefit off the most. If you only like girl um, character designs in Fortnite, which personally I think I, I like more than the guys, guys look weird, unless they have a mask which this is the case, they have a mask. 
I thought the guys look cooler. Um, now I would have got USA because I'm from America, but I don't know. It's just the colors. And the back bling. Each back bling is very unique. Um, you can see that on this back bling, we have the stars for America. You got the uh, little oak. Is it oak? No, maple leaf for Canada. I said oak. Um, we got the the tri stripe for France. We got the three colors for Germany. We have the the single star and the lines, the golden lines for China. Korea, we have the blue gradient red. And of course for Great Britain, we have the Union Jack. This is just uh, snowflakes. Now I, like, I do like all these. Um, this still remains to be my saint, my favorite like ever, just because of the colors. That blue color is, I'd say probably is my favorite color. Like the whole body, the accent, light blue is also a very interesting color paired with the white of the lions beautiful beautiful the back bling still remains elite overall now besides that and less um interesting i guess not equally interesting whatever we got the swift with the rat lantern this is uh um the year of the rat since it is the year of the rat for china the chinese new year we have swift <clears throat> Sorry guys, I can't talk today. Shine bright in the year of the rat. You also have the lucky axes. Cool. We got ratty. Um, I feel like they could have done a lot more with this. This is basically just the red, black camo. With a little bit of design. It's alright though. It's the design that you see on a stomach. I still feel like they could have gone... Could have. They could have done better like transitioning that into a camo. It's okay, it's okay. We have Volley Girl. And the used racket. Pretty cool. Semi try hard skin. Verge, which I do own. Pretty cool skin. We have the ski boot, which comes with the Alpine Ace. Now, honestly, I really do like this harvesting tool. Very interesting. I like the noise. Party hips. Hey. 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 Okay. Hey. Hey. Hold on. When did that come out? What the heck? I gotta see this with the face. Uh, yeah, we'll use her. What the heck? When did this come out? She was worried. Hey, 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 hey. I can't help but feel like this is a uh, TikTok inspired. Which is sad, but we are also playing Fortnite. So it probably is. Electro Swing? Fun fact, that was actually um, from a Musical.ly, or inspired from a Musical.ly. Musical.ly is now TikTok. If you guys are able to remember that. This is brand new today. It's reactive rap. Animates whenever you fire your weapons. And just like it shows right here, stars fly. Multicolors. Purple, pink, green, yellow, blue, light blue, light purple. Red, yellow, orange, you name it all. Whatever color it is, we got it. 500 V-Bucks only. Highly suggest this. This is a, one of the most beautiful wraps ever introduced into Fortnite. The gradient purple to blue. All the stars, the little shooting stars that pass every once in a while. Look, there, there they go. We have the red, yellow, and blue at the very end, which I, I feel like they could have done without, but it doesn't take away at all from how beautiful the skin is. And I actually do think that it adds on to how how unique it is, but it doesn't block out its uniqueness at all. It does look very nice. Today, uh, nothing going on special today, so we're just gonna jump in with my beautiful teddy bear. Look at it, look at it. And now we, now my stay. I hope you guys are having a good day today. I'm having a good day. I just woke up from my nap. So it's going to be a semi-late upload. But it's going to be good because I'm here talking to y'all. You're here allowing me to talk to you. Hopefully, if you stayed on the video this long. Today, we're just going to enjoy 
some good old fashioned gameplay with each other. And you're gonna admire the back bling that is the Alpine Ace Great Britain back bling. Very beautiful. I think it's definitely stayed timeless overall. I mean, it hasn't aged with time at all. Like, at all. <laughs> very nice, very nice. We're out. Now, uh, it's been simple now that that horrible glitch has finally been patched. And of course, I want to put my circle all the way up there. Jesus Christ, do you want to be a little more quiet? I've been playing a lot of Apex. Um, I got a new main. She's so underrated. I got a win with her yesterday. Amazing. I might, I might actually upload it. Just cause, just cause, just cause. Beautiful game. Everything's beautiful. I'm actually not even going to school tomorrow, so I'm fairly happy about that. Ooh, what is this? Ooh, what are you? Oh, can I throw this? Okay, so that's the aim button. Mm -hmm. So I'm assuming if I let go of the aim button, yeah, it doesn't throw it at all. But if I use R2, or the shoot button, it throws it. Now, can I pick this up? Oh, how cool! Okay, okay, okay. Can I shoot this? Ooh, it's like a bouncing Betty. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I'm gonna see how I can use this. I didn't even know they added that, y'all. Well, welcome to the game. Probably gonna be mine. That's a hard choice. I'll come back. That is very hard choice. Yeah, I'm not even gonna be going to school tomorrow. Oh yeah, I'll probably like, oh, that's lucky. I'm going for a college trip tomorrow. For one of the local colleges in my state. They have a little visit. A little specialized visit for um, business majors, which I plan on majoring in business. And it's a little. Uh, oh wait, 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 wait! I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Oh dang, this is gonna be a tough choice. Yeep. Uh, okay. I'm trying to decide because I don't wanna waste these shields, but I don't wanna run that far, so I'm probably gonna waste them if I use them. But I want this. Uh, where is it? Pistol. This is a purple pistol, right? But yeah, it's a college field trip for business majors. They just take you around and show you like what the campus is like. I'm gonna be doing that tomorrow. And we're off. I can loot this place real quick. It's gonna be interesting to see how that um, plays out, I guess, tomorrow. I don't have any makeup work. I hate missing school just because of makeup work. I can't even enjoy it because I'll be like, oh my god, what am I have to do tomorrow? That skin is honestly underrated skin. I don't ever see it bought, which means people don't buy it. Either that or they just never wear it, which is kind of dumb. So I'm going to go with the first one. Why wouldn't you use that? Like, it's such an awesome skin. <laughs> so underrated. I forgot what it's called. But, um, it's like Starry or something like that. I don't know. Fortnite always has those very simple names. So, yeah, um, tomorrow... I shouldn't be too late enough up of an upload, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll definitely see. So also want to say thank you to everybody for nearly 200 subscribers. We're currently at 198, and I'm very proud of everyone. I'm proud of myself, to be honest. Not gonna lie. But yeah, we're at 198, and I've been getting a lot of support on my channel lately. So I do feel like it's gonna be coming soon. Um, still working out the details for the. For how it's gonna go and what I have planned to celebrate our 200 subscriber milestone but just know that it's gonna be great I'm gonna put a lot of time and effort into it for all of my Aztecs because you guys are awesome you guys are the best supporters on the planet I don't care how many of y'all there are I will always love you guys more than anything I want you guys to know that so I do plan on making something huge for 200 subscribers if you haven't seen the 100 subscribers, I'm pretty sure I talked about this yesterday. But if you haven't seen the 100 subscriber special, then I suggest you go watch it. Um, I didn't post it too long ago. Maybe last month, two months ago. I did some art for y'all. So go watch that. That was very interesting. I'd say at least. The process was very fun. 
I'm a digital artist for those who don't know. I love doing digital art. I do all the art that goes on up on my channel for my profile picture and my banner. So that's why it's always looking swinky. I might update it soon, to be honest. I'm working on a couple things. I think I might share that with y'all for my 200. We're just gonna have to wait and see. Regardless, whatever it is, I hope you guys enjoy it. assuming about these proximity mines and i'm actually going to try to talk over this boat because it's fairly loud sorry if i'm just screaming into the mic for no reason but as far as these proximity mines i'm pretty sure they do exactly what they entail okay, i'm gonna get out of that the thing is so loud i don't want it to be screaming at y'all so the proximity mine right um it's blue you get three at a time and i'm assuming it's probably a stack um stack limit of probably six Seems like a fairly good uh, stack amount. That's usually in the range that Fortnite likes to keep it. It used to be like 10-ish, but then they reduced it to 6 quite a while ago. Um, well, I feel old just saying that. Because that has been quite a while ago. And I'm assuming it explodes on impact the second that someone enters its proximity. Or area of... Oh, snap! Oh! I don't know why it wouldn't let me build. I thought that was a rat skin. Man, fights like a rat. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I kid. I kid. Anyways, I do want to uh, test this out on Tree Man. And the cool thing, I said the coolest thing about this is that you can uh, pick it up. What? Uh, camping in my house. I like how he used the tree skin. And he really thought that we weren't going to see him. Sitting in there shooting everybody. <laughs> that he sees. Am I honestly just looking for some more proximity uh, mines? Yeah, proximity mines. I didn't mean to drop that. What the heck? Because if I can find some more. Then we're going to all be good. Now you guys kind of saw how the proximity mine worked. It'll attach itself to any surface that it's thrown on. And the second that it detects someone's near its proximity, it'll bounce away. It's actually a delay of about a second or two. I think probably closer to one second. It'll bounce away and then it'll explode after a second. Ow, where's, where's L people? Oh, what? Oh. Hola. Goodbye. Hola. Hola. Sensi turning up your sensitivity doesn't make you a good player, sir. I don't know why that dude's sensitivity was so wonky either, but. Actually, would have been. Are those. <gasps> they are! No one kill me, no one kill me. There we go. All built up on my proximity mines. It's a good day. It's gonna be a great day. Woo hoo hoo! heck is that? That doesn't sound familiar. Ooh. Ow, my head. I was looking at the, the kill feed. I was like, why are all these people so low? I totally forgot. I'm only level 15. I don't even call it tier anymore because it's just level. Don't know how I feel about that. Okay, that didn't work. I'll just take my kill like that. Where's my proximity grenade? Oh, that's what you call a big brain move, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you all next time. <laughs> I'm actually gonna pick these up because I do want to use these. Who didn't like explosives? 
Now, I'm assuming they introduced these proximity mines fairly recently. Not only due to the fact that I haven't even seen these until now, but um, since they just released TNTina, which I explained earlier is uh, basically like an explosives master. She's kind of a... I get a crazy vibe from her. I'm assuming that she's probably going to be one of those crazy explosives persons. Just like in every game, people who specialize in explosives, they're always like crazy people for no reason. I'm sure there's some reason. But um, since she released recently, I'm assuming that's when they brought back... C4 is actually, I don't know. They might have been back for a while, but... As far as these new proximity mines, I feel like these are... I feel like these are new. Wow. Oh, he got me good. Oh, and then he died. I heard it. <laughs> okay, we're winning. We're winning. Like Scoot. This is going to be a crazy match. Hey, sir, mind if I, uh... Word of advice, if someone throws a bomb near you, you probably shouldn't stand still. Whoa! Where's my kill? I definitely did enough damage for me to get that kill, so where was it? This happens every day, by the way. Crazy things, crazy things. Now where can I uh, acquire a kill next? <laughs> That's my Heath Ledger impression, you're welcome. Whoa, sir. That's the same dude that just killed me. Whoa. I had the wrong thing equipped for some reason. <laughs> lol, 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 lol. It's a crazy world we live in, ladies and gentlemen. But we must survive. Please don't. Nice. That always let me. Whoa! I just wanted to get my kill. I've been dying a lot late to <laughs> today. What the heck? I missed all of those shots except two of them. That's a little upsetting. I got hectic. These past like 10 seconds. So many noises from every single direction. Ooh. How can I use this? I want. I want to test something out. If I do this and I just throw it. Shotgun so loud. I guess over there would probably be the best place to. Oh, let me shoot it! Oh, no way. Well, that's it for today. Hope you guys are having a good one. Now, honestly, Team Rumble is so underrated. If you want to level up, go to Team Rumble. You will level up way faster, and it'll be way more fun for you than if you're bad and you just keep on getting clapped. I don't think I'm bad, but I do like playing Team Rumble. It is very fun for me. And you guys seem to love it. I mean, all the videos that I've done this season, 
about Team Rumble have gotten a lot of great feedback. Especially in terms of um, watch time minutes. All of them reaching at least 400 minutes. But some longer, some some uh, even longer. I mean, the first one that I made this season, 2,600 watch time minutes. My god, is that a lot? Engine Nana and the Big Hall, that's what we got right now. Thank y'all for watching. My name is King Cordo. I hope you guys have an amazing day today. I honestly would suggest that y'all buy at least one Alpine Ace or Mogul Master. If you like the guys, go for the guys. If you like the girls, go for the girls. It's whatever skin preference you like, whatever character design. There are some small differences. The guys have the scars, girls do not. And the shin guards reduced to one on the girls and two on the guys. But the knee is different, separate from the shin. Things here and there. Um, the design on the shirt is actually different. Actually, no, it's the same. Yeah, it's the same. Cool. Go for whichever one you like. Um, I personally like the Great Britain one just because of the back bling. Back blings are the same. I do think that is worth noting. This is going to be the exact same as... I don't know why these are out of order. They should be in the same order. Well, that makes sense, right? Exact same thing as that. It's going to be the same thing, so buy whatever one you want. If you're only using it for the back bling, it doesn't really matter. But it would be the smart decision to go for whatever one benefits you the most. My name is King Kowato. I love you all so much. Hope you guys have an amazing day. And if you're not, then I hope I made it just a little better. I love you all. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace, everybody. And of course, thank you all for watching. Until next time.